What's up everybody, I'm Nick Vargas and I am certifiably insane. Why else would I get in a line this morning at 4 a.m. to get an iPhone 5? Well, maybe to put it in a head-to-head -head comparison against the iPhone 4S. Let's see how it stacks up. So the first test we're gonna run is the Geekbench test and the, as you can see, the iPhone 4S has an Apple A5 processor versus the iPhone 5's A6 processor. So we're gonna run the benchmarks now and this should give us a number saying just how fast the phones are. So as you can tell, the iPhone 5 finished a lot quicker, but let's see what the score the iPhone 4S receives is. So according to Geekbench, the iPhone 5 is actually more than double the speed of the iPhone 4S. Of course, these tests have a few variables, so they're not entirely to be trusted, but this is a fairly accurate representation of the speeds of these two phones. Next, we want to compare the internet speeds of the iPhone 5's new LTE antenna to the AT&T's 4G network, which is actually closer to 3G, but that's what they call it. So let's go ahead and open the speed test app. and then we will begin the test. So as you can see here, LTE is much faster than 3G or AT&T's what they call 4G. So there you have it, the iPhone 5 is almost 10 times faster on the internet and in cases of downloading, it's over 10 times faster than the iPhone 4S. So the iPhone 5's A6 processor is supposed to be about twice as fast and powerful for gaming as well, so we want to open up a resource intensive app and see how it handles it. So we're going to open up Infinity Blade. On the count of three here, one, two, three. And you can see that the iPhone 5 is just a little bit ahead of the iPhone 4S in this. So the iPhone 4S held up pretty well, but the uh, iPhone 5 still finished first. So let's try the same test with the app Hero Academy. One, two, three. So as you can see, the iPhone 5 loaded way faster, but we, what we see here is the black bars on the side. That means that this app hasn't been optimized for the iPhone 5 yet. So the first thing anyone with eyes is going to notice about the iPhone 5 is the display has gotten longer. It's now 4 inches diagonal as compared to the iPhones before it which were only 3.5. Both the 4S and the 5 have 326 pixels per inch though which make them both retina display. As soon as you hold it you're going to notice a new thing. That's that it's thinner and lighter than the 4S. The 4S is 140 grams and the iPhone 5 is only 112. Now that might not seem like much, but it's actually about an ounce and that's going to add up over time, believe me. So for the first time ever, this year's iPhone didn't receive a major update to its rear facing camera. Fortunately its front facing camera did. Let's check it out. As you can see, the iPhone 4S looks a lot grainier, while the iPhone 5 looks like it's more accurately representing colors. Most importantly, you can distinguish individual hairs in my beard. This should make FaceTime calls a lot better. So no surprises, the iPhone 5 tops the iPhone 4S in just about every test. But does that make it worth your money, especially since you're probably not eligible for an upgrade? Let us know in the comments, and for all things iPhone related, keep it locked to IGN.